If you want to book more carpet cleaning jobs, then stick around and watch the rest of this video. I'm Ruben with bookcleaningjobs.com, and today I'm going to show you exactly how to design your carpet cleaning website to maximize your lead generation. We're not going to talk about SEO, paid ads, traffic, or any of that. We are going to talk about how to actually lay out your carpet cleaning business's homepage to get the most leads possible. So with that said, let's go ahead and talk about the 50% rule. Now the 50% rule means that at least 50% of your website visitors are using a smartphone. So let me repeat that. That means more than half of the people coming to your carpet cleaning business's website are on their phone. So I want you to keep that in mind when you're designing your carpet cleaning business's website. That's very important. A lot of the people who are visiting your website are gonna see that site on their phone. So if you're designing your website, it makes sense to at least check to make sure your website's mobile friendly, but you might wanna consider designing your website with a mobile first strategy. Today, we're gonna to use this very crude, very ugly example of a carpet cleaning website. Uh, this is kind of a wireframe I put together, and I'm using this to make a point that the layout is really more important than how aesthetically pleasing your website is. So you could have the most beautiful website in the world, but if people are confused when they get to that website, they're not going to take any action. So if you're a carpet cleaning business, if people come to your website and they're confused about how to call you or request a quote, they're going to leave and they're going to go to somebody else's website and get them to clean their carpets instead. So I'm going to explain how this layout that you're looking at right now works so well. And it really just comes down to three things. So if you follow this basic layout, you're going to succeed. The first thing I want to point out to you is that you should put your phone number in the upper right hand corner. A lot of people miss this, okay? I see a lot of carpet cleaners who miss this very, very simple thing that they could do to get more phone calls. If you own a business that people would normally call, they would expect to find a phone number when they come to your website. People expect to see that phone number in the upper right hand corner. That's where people expect to find a phone number when they come to your business's website. So have your website developer put your phone number in the upper right hand corner of your website and if possible, make that phone number clickable. Because remember I said a lot of people are visiting your website on a smartphone, make it clickable so that people can just click on your phone number and call you. If you don't know how to do that yourself, have your website developer make those phone numbers clickable for you. The next thing I want you to do is put your call to action above the fold. Now above the fold is an old newspaper term, which means at the top of the page. When we're talking about websites in the internet, what we really mean is to put your main call to action button, request quote, book online, call us, Put it at the top of the page, somewhere near the top of the page, before you have to scroll down. So on this page right here, you can see at the very top of the page, you got your phone number in the upper right hand corner, you got your logo, you got a nice headline here, and then the next thing near the top of the page before you scroll down is this big button that says request quote. That's exactly how I want you to lay your website out. And I want you to remember the 50% rule. The 50% rule says that at least 50% of the people who come to your website are on a smartphone. So if you followed along so far, you're on the way to building an effective carpet cleaning website. But at this point, stop, keep in mind the 50% rule and make sure that on the mobile version of your website, the phone number is also in the upper right hand corner and that it's clickable if possible and that your main call to action button is still above the fold, meaning it's, it's right here at the top of your website before you have to scroll any further down. Third, I want you to add a short form to collect leads on your website. Now, when I say short, I mean just maybe three or four questions, as few as possible, right? A lot of carpet cleaners mess this up in one of two ways. First, if they have a form on their website, they hide it on the contact page or some other page that people can't find. And then second, if they have a form on their website, they ask 15 questions and every single question is required before you can submit the form. I want you to put a short form on your website so that people can contact you to request a quote. And I call these lead forms. Some people call them contact forms. I like to call them lead forms because they're designed to help you collect leads. And by leads, I mean hot prospects that you can follow up with to book a carpet cleaning appointment. So I want you to put this lead form in an easy to find spot on your website, as prominent as possible. If you're feeling really brave, stick it right at the top of your homepage. A lot of people wouldn't do that. They would think it's ugly and against their beautiful design best practices, but a lead form right at the top of your website will actually help you get more leads than hiding your lead form at the bottom of the page or putting it on the contact page or not having a lead form at all. So now I'm gonna show you a couple live examples of websites who are following these best practices, starting with this carpet cleaner in Lincoln, Nebraska. You'll notice right away that he's got his phone number in the upper right hand corner of the website. It's also clickable. So if I were on the mobile version of this website, if I were looking at this site on my smartphone, I could just tap this phone number to call the carpet cleaner for a quote or to book an appointment or whatever. 
Now, next, I want you to notice that he has two call to action buttons. One of them says get free quote, and the other one is another phone number button, right? Also clickable. Both of these calls to action are above the fold, meaning they're right here near the top of the page before you have to scroll down. All right, third, does he have a lead form? Let's click this get free quote button. Yep. When you click that button, it brings you right down here to this lead form. Pretty easy to find, it's on the home page. Clicking that button brings you right here. Obviously this carpet cleaner wants you to fill out this form to request a quote. Very, very easy. If I'm the customer, I know exactly what I need to do next. Now, to just show you an example of what it would look like to put your lead form right at the top of the page, check out what this cleaner is doing. This cleaner has the lead form right at the very top of the home page. It's very prominent. It's very obvious what he wants you to do next. Fill out this lead form. All right. So now that we've looked at those examples, <clears throat> I wanna give you a couple bonus tips, right? I don't wanna just leave you with those three. I wanna give you a couple bonus tips to really help you book as many jobs as possible, help you get as many leads as possible, help you get as many phone calls as possible from your carpet cleaning website. Chat. Live chat's been around for a long time. There's a lot of chat options out there. Facebook Messenger integration is the one that I'd really like to call out today. If you want to use live chat on your website, there's plenty of options that you can choose from, but Facebook Messenger is a free option to add live chat to your website. And if you're already using a Facebook page for your carpet cleaning business, if you're already talking with customers on Facebook, or if you want to talk with more customers on Facebook, try the Facebook Messenger integration. It'll add a little Facebook chat widget to the bottom right corner of your website. And when people chat with that widget, it'll actually send your Facebook page a message and you can reply to that message on Messenger. So try Facebook Messenger integration on your website for live chat. There's another option though too that's even better. It's my personal favorite. I like to use automated chat bots because live chat's difficult. If you're out cleaning, if you're out booking jobs, if you're talking to customers, if you're out doing whatever, you don't have time to sit and live chat with customers, right? Some of these automated chatbots are pretty cool. You can design a great script that will talk with customers, ask them what they need, get all the relevant information that you need to contact them back with a quote and book the job. So try an automated chatbot if you want a completely hands-off solution. I don't know if you noticed it on those last two websites that I just showed you. Both of those websites have chat. In fact, both of those websites have automated chatbots. Bonus tip number two. Now, if you haven't heard about online booking by this point, then you must be living under a rock because carpet cleaners everywhere are offering online booking and customers are definitely using it. House Call Pro is what I always recommend. It's my personal favorite when it comes to online booking and my personal favorite in general for a software to run your carpet cleaning business. So I always recommend House Call Pro. Other options out there, Marcate and Jobber. I hear a lot of people are using both of those options with success. Try out online booking. If people are ready to get their carpets clean, price is no object, they just wanna get it booked, why get in their way with a lead form or making them call you to book the appointment? Just let them choose the date and time that works for them and book it online. There's even budget-friendly options out there. So if you're an owner operator who doesn't have any employees that you need to dispatch jobs to, you're just booking for yourself, you could even try something free or cheap like Calendly, which would just integrate with your Google Calendar. So you could start there if you wanna try online booking. All right, so that's that's it for today. I hope you found that helpful. As a thank you for watching today, I wanna to give you a copy of the Carpet Cleaning Marketing Cheat Sheet. This cheat sheet has already helped hundreds of carpet cleaners grow their business so far this year, and I wanna make sure that you're one of the next cleaners to do it. So head on over to bookcleaningjobs.com slash cheat sheet to get your free copy of the Carpet Cleaning Marketing Cheat Sheet. I'm Ruben with bookcleaningjobs.com. Thanks a lot for watching.